What up, what up, Winboys here. And today I'm gonna to show you how we can make animated gobos work within Unreal Engine 5 to add a little bit more realism to our scene. But before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out to Revo Color. He's the tech support over at Grayscale Gorilla. He's the one that actually showed me how to do this and he gave me permission to share it with the community so that you will also know how to do it. So just make sure you give him a follow up there on Twitter or X, whatever you wanna call it, just to show him some support for this tip because it's really helpful. And speaking of Grayscale Gorilla, they have a library of animated gobos in which I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. So if you wanna follow along with the one that I'm using, I'm using this one down here but feel free to use any animated gobos that you have and so to get started i'm in the latest version of unreal engine 5.4 but feel free to use any version of unreal you want this should work so to get started we're going to come down here inside of our content browser we're going to right click in here and then we're going to come down here to where it says media so we want to look for where it says right here img media source so i'm going to left click on this and then i'm just going to leave it at the default name there but feel free to name it anything you want so I'm gonna double click on this, and this window is gonna pop up right here, but what we wanna look for is down here in the right-hand corner where it says sequence, we wanna look for sequence path, and right here, we're gonna have three dots in which we wanna click on this. So this is gonna open up your Windows Explorer or File Explorer, no matter what you're using. You're just gonna to wanna to click on something within your sequence that you have there. Doesn't matter if it's in order or not, and then you're gonna click on open. And then we're gonna come up here in the top left-hand corner, and we're gonna click on save. Now I can exit this out. And the next step from here, we're gonna right click again down here in the content browser, and we're gonna come back over here to media, and we wanna click on media player. Now this is gonna pop up where it says create media player. We do wanna check this on where it says video output media texture asset. We wanna make sure this is clicked on, and we're gonna click okay. And down here, you can rename your media player if you want, but again, I'm just gonna leave it at default. And once you're done naming it, it's gonna come up here with this texture as well. So we wanna double click on this TV right here for the new media player. And that's gonna open up this window here in which you should see your sequence down here. Cause if you double click on it, it's gonna play inside this window now. So you just wanna make sure that it's playing and then you're gonna come up here and you're gonna click on save. And then we can exit this out. And then you should notice that this is gonna update down here as well. And this is gonna be our animated sequence. So now we just need to make a material to drop this into. So we're gonna right click again we're gonna come up here to material and then we're gonna double click on our material window. So once we're inside of here, we're gonna actually click on this node right here. And then on the left hand side over here where it says material domain, instead of surface, we wanna click on light function. Now this is gonna change it. So we only have an emissive color in here and this is where we're gonna attach our new material. So if I scroll this over a little bit, and then I come down here, I'm gonna take this material right here, this animated one, left click, drag it into here. And now we have it right here where we could connect this node. So we wanna take the RGB node and connect it to the emissive color. And now we're just gonna click on save. So now we have our material all set up and ready to go. So the next step from here, we're gonna need a sequencer to tell this material that it's gonna actually wanna play once we add it to our spotlight. But before we do that, let's make our spotlight and put it into our scene. And then we're gonna add this light material. So we're gonna come back up here to where we have this box up here. This is quickly add the project. I'm gonna left click on this and I'm gonna come down here to light. Now we wanna add a spotlight cause this is where we're gonna be able to add our light function. So we're gonna add this into here and I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit and come over here into my transform tools. I'm gonna put this at zero. So it's actually admitting on our little door here. This is just the mega scans asset, but we want our material to admit on our mesh right here. So if I come back over here under my spotlight, and I scroll down right here under light function. I'm gonna take my material that I made and I'm gonna left click and drag that in here. Now this should correlate because your material is gonna have a green strip in here and your light function is gonna have a green strip. Now, if we look through, we can actually see that material is coming through our light. So now let's get this animated. So we could come down here again. We could right click, come over here to cinematics and we're just gonna add a level sequence and that's gonna show up here instead of our content browser. Another way you could do it is if you come up here to the clipboard, left click on this, you can add a level sequence here as well. But then we're gonna double click on our level sequencer and this is where we're gonna add our animated material. So we're gonna come right here to where I have the green plus symbol that says add. We're gonna left click on this and we're gonna click on media track like so. So then once this is in here, we're gonna click on this plus symbol and then we're gonna to come to media source and we're gonna see our IMG media source in here. So we could left click on this 
and now we can see it in here but if i scroll it through it's not animated so what we need to do is actually on this strip right here we're going to right click on this we're going to come up here to properties and down here under media texture we're going to click on none and then we're going to look for our media texture which is right here you can tell what it is because it has your gobos in there so if i left click on this now and then if i come through and i play it now you can see it's actually playing within our light there so this is going to add a lot of realism to your scene there like you can already see i didn't really do much i just have an hdr in here and i have this light and our scene looks really good now if you wanted to bump it up a little bit more you can come over here to your spotlight scroll up here a little bit more to our intensity maybe even bump this up by 20 so we could really see what's going on but just this right here you can already see how powerful an animated gobo could be to making your scene look that much more realistic so hopefully this helped you all out. I know it helped me out. If it did, leave a comment down below. Big shout out to Rebel Color again. Make sure you follow him on Twitter because this is a great tip that he allowed me to share with the community. And make sure you subscribe to this channel as well for more tips like this. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.